Okay, so here we are once again. Um, it rained last night. So I could see where the water pooled in the back of this chair. So I drilled the hole and it came out just below the mouth on the wood spirit on the back side. So, oh boy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is carve these lines in my chainsaw. You'll see I got some lines drawn in there. Just not too thick, kind of like this. And uh, burn it. And I wanna burn this whole piece today, sand it and treat it, okay? So yeah, it's gonna be a busy day. I'll try and film as much as I can, but I don't know. See how it goes. So I'm gonna curve these right now, quickly. Okay, so those line things are all done. Okay. See so guys, look at this. This is bark running all the way through it. Those lines there. This is things I've struggled through this throughout this whole carving. Look, there's bark right here. Bark, bark, little piece of bark right in there. It just comes up everywhere in this tree. Okay, so, um, and the cracks. Oh boy, but we're getting her done. Now it's time to relax and burn this. I'm gonna burn all this down here, okay? Sorry, burn all here. Re-burn the back um, wood spirit because you can see all the uh, moss, not moss, but algae growing on it. See that? I, I'm gonna leave, he, he's happy with the eyes the way they are. We're gonna find some marbles to put in the eyeball and the pupils, but you see all this? That's all moss, uh, algae, sorry. So, yeah, I wanna treat this. This is the hole for the uh, water to come out. 
I'll burn it, you won't even be able to see it, it'll blend right in. Okay, so burn, I'm gonna re-burn all this too. Another thing too guys, here's my moisture meter. It's got this on my Amazon. So I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna try it on a fresh cut. And we'll see how it down. Because to do that sea toll, it says it needs to be no uh, higher than 18% moisture meter, so whatever. Okay, well this is 30%, so let me burn it, and then uh, see what it is after I burn it. This is wet from yesterday, but I see it's less, okay? Because then once I burn it, then I'll probably put the coat on right after I burn it, because the outside will be dry. Okay, so I've burnt the whole thing, even the back side. So let's see this water tester now, this water meter thing. If I can get it to work. Fifteen. So that's under the eighteen that they, they you know, it can't be over eighteen. So that's fifteen. Let's see if we can get it here. 9.2 bingo we're gonna put the sea toll on it today after i sand it okay guys so now is the, the part i've dreaded doing is sanding okay these are the old school mandals you can get at the for your sandpaper this is belt sander you can get it at the hardware store i don't like using these because either the screw can back off when you're sanding or you have to put it to put it in reverse or forward whatever it will come undone here at the drill if you that makes sense so I can't stand using these that's why I asked Pete if he could make me some uh, some of these Pete Blair you guys if you want to get one of these you can email them at PeteBlairMe.com I'll leave a link below okay but um, so this is a hexagon one this is just kind of trial and error stuff guys okay it's hexagon he thought I, I mentioned that to him for the drill um, hold on a second Okay, sorry about that. So, uh, me and Pete Blair, he sells the ones for the Dremel too, the 1 8 ones. We've been talking about these for the drills. So, this is the first one that he made, okay? I thought this might be a little bit small. I sanded this edge down so it's flat. You can see there. So, the drill, drill will grip it better. I thought this might be a little bit small. So, this stuff's harder than that softer stuff. So, it's more brittle so it can break here and fly off, right? But that's just, I'm not too sure yet, okay? So Pete made this for me this morning, this one. This is a foot long, three quarter inch, okay? It's got a hole in the back. So he made this for me this morning and thank you very much, Pete, because I dread sanding this thing because I got my silly Indian beard going on and these masks aren't rated for when you got a beard, okay? You gotta be clean shaven for these masks or it doesn't really suck towards your, your on your face properly. I gotta blow that out. So Pete made this for me, okay? Look what he even does through the screw with the screws. He point he, he sands the screws down and makes them so you can push through the sandpaper. I already had pre-drilled holes in mine. Guys, I'm holding my camera and doing this at the same time, so okay, that's in there. I'm gonna put two more. I'm not I'm not gonna try this one. I'm just going to automatically try this this bigger one because I want to stay away as far away from this sanding as I can freaking stay away, man. Oh, boy. Okay, so let's get this one hooked up on the drill. Let's give her a try. Pete warned me that, you know, on a drill it might be a little bit wobble because it's not 100% true. Like, perfectly, whatever, true. So I might hold it when I'm spinning it. That's why I asked him to make this for me because this one, I can't really... When a sink's spinning, I can't hold it because it's a hexagon and it will be rough on your fingers, right? Okay, this pisses me off because I don't have my bigger drill here and that won't fit inside there. So, I'm always ready, guys. I got this uh, cordless grinder, 20 volt. I'm just going to grind down this down with this zip cutting disc. This is what uh, just carved Rob slice his hand open with, guys. His finger open to the bone. So when you use these zip cut discs, be really careful. I know this, is, this isn't what it's for, but I gotta get shit done because 
I need this extension for sanding all this. If I can't get it down, I'll have to use this hexagon one. Haha, <laughs> got it in there. It's a little bit wobbly, but that's because I didn't grind too, uh, it's gotta be perfectly grinded in there, so. Oh, I've already sanded a little bit, and it's so nice having this extension it far away from you. It's my own fault I didn't bring my drill with the bigger chuck inside there. But you guys, if you want to, I don't know how much Pete, like I'll talk to him, how much, uh, like how much these cost. So if you want to email and ask him, but boy, what a big difference having that extension. Okay, so I got the front all sanded. I'm gonna get my orbit sander and kind of hit the high points still too. But man, that extension on that uh, drill is so much better. I'm so less dirty. Let's see. Yeah, look. I'm barely even dirty. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna go around back and sand the big wood spirit now. And uh, I'll do a quick time lapse of this. Now the sun's come out, so that's nice. So yeah. Oh boy, this is a lot of sanding. He wants to put marbles in the eyes for his son. Okay, so here it is. That took five minutes, I just looked at my camera. Okay, love it, yes! Look, if I had all my other carvings just with the short one, my arms would be pitch black. Let's see how dirty my face. Look, not even too bad. <laughs> Okay, so I'm super happy with the way today's going. Okay, so now I got this, um, my orbit sounder, and I'm gonna hit the high points just a bit, okay? And I gotta clean up those eagle's beaks. Uh, and I'll clean up around the name so they're brighter. When when I put the uh, C-toll on, the black will really pop out. So I'll get this done and then, yeah, I'll be back. Whoosh. Okay, it's now been sanded, the sun's come out. It's perfect time to put the C-toll on it. So, uh, this is still my favorite angle right here, that eagle head. So we got the sea tall here, uh, paintbrush, and I'm wearing my friggin' brand new chainsaw pants and I'm such a mess when it comes to this stuff. Okay, so this is what I got. Pop Recoat 23. They said uh, cedar color. So we'll end up doing two or three coats on this, probably two coats this year and another coat uh, next year. So let me get this mixed up. And uh, so Seco, it's called, Seekins is called Seco now guys. Seetol. 
Believe me, where does it say sea tall on it? Trust me, it's sea tall. I don't have any gloves here, so how much do you want to bet that my hands are going to be covered with this, this stuff after? Mix, mix the color up from the bottom real good. Okay guys, so it's all something on my glasses. It's all done besides the seat. The seat's got to wait till next spring. It just has to. So um, yeah, I'm not too dirty. That uh, Pete, that mandrel just saved the day. That long one, or my face would be completely black. You know from all your hearts, right? So all those uh, hearts that you carved in that cart, you did and sanded and stuff like that for the charity. So, but yeah, look, my pants are even still good. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, it's first coat of tall. So look at that rich color, guys. Would you look at that color? Look at the color. Like I said, those are all his kids did those names and I transferred to the paper so they, I could have done professional, but that's the way he wanted it. 502. Look at that color. Oh, I think uh, Rob's at work right now, but I think he's gonna be pretty happy when he gets home. It's a shame about the seat, but it just makes a lot of sense not to uh, do it till next spring. Okay, so let's go back. Let's actually, what's the rest, right? It's finally done there, already. You guys, like I left chainsaw marks in there on purpose because people can know it's a chainsaw carving, right? It doesn't have to look like a piece of plastic or, you know, it was a mold. I still got to do the eyes with the abalone shell, guys. So I don't know if this stuff will be pretty dry tomorrow or not. I gotta take a picture of that right there, hold on. Okay, I got my photo. So, um, the great thing about this chair, it was so much work, but the, the owner let me take my time. Um, like I said, I still gotta do the, put the abalone shell in the eyes. So I gotta do four eyes. I didn't run the stuff, uh, the sea tall, or whatever it's called now, down the bark, a little bit. And let's check out this big guy. Got to find some cool marbles for his eyes. This was a real challenging piece for me, guys. I'd say my most challenging for chainsaw carving because the hill that I had to work on, like there, that's like five feet, six feet, and it, I kept on sliding down this dirt here and over here. But it's pretty well done. You guys want me to make a little video tomorrow so you can see it with the... If this stuff is dry tomorrow, somewhat dry. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it's getting dry already. She drying up. Get already here. The wood's just sucking it in. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to see me, I'll just make a quick, I'll do the shells. I'll just show how I do it and then I'll make a quick video. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow. But I might come back here tomorrow and do another coat. So anyways guys, this uh, like look where it started, look where this thing started. Right here. This is where it started. Let's mark that. Okay. And that's how far it goes in. That's like a good, well let's just see here. One, two, three, this is like seven feet. Seven feet from here to the outside of the chair. 
So, I'll let you all go. Hope you all doing good. You guys, if you want to get carving fusion t-shirts like this, they're on um, my Teespring account below uh, all my videos. You can just hit uh, open up the description, hit that little arrow on the right. You'll see some of my t-shirts. It'll take you to the site. You can buy a t-shirt. You can support the channel that way. Um, I do have a little PayPal thing listed in my description. Cuts all burrs, guys. That's the way uh, you can support this, the site, the, the channel. I'm not trying to get rich from doing this. YouTube stuff, I just do it because I enjoy it. And it's become part of my artistic uh, thing, whatever. So hope you all good. Boy, uh, I gotta go home and have a hot bath. I'm super tired. Sore too, real sore. Local 502. Look, I dropped my shoe. But I'm keep on filming because I'm committed, guys. That's it. So thanks, guys. Hope you all good. And uh, any of you new to the channel, we got a great group on Facebook called Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers. Total 100% supporting group. And, uh, well, no negative comments on that group at all. Or <whistles> See you later. That was easy. Easy as you want.